Welcome to Saber Food and Life, where great living and health recipes come together. I'm Mark Daniels, Executive Chef at San Angelo Community Medical Center, and I have with me today Dr. Worcester. How are you doing today? Doing all right, Doc? Very good, sir. Mark, it's good to be here. Top of the morning to you. Ready to get started. Hey, you're no stranger to the uh, to the show, so um, I'm glad to have you back on. And and uh, just to refresh everybody, where can they find you? Uh, good, great question. Uh, right now, I practice medicine at 5730 Sherwood Way, which is a it's a walk-in clinic, but I do also do family medicine there as well. Great. So you have one-stop shop. They can find you. Easy location. Everybody knows where that clinic's at. So, Absolutely. We're going to do a lemongrass chicken. Beautiful. So I hope you like lemongrass cause, or chicken because they're both together, and that's what we're doing. Well, let's get started. All right. This is, this is pretty easy. I'm going to have you make a marinade uh, for the chicken, and you're going to add everything into this blender, and we're going to make a little marinade with it. So you have uh, a little uh, garlic and some ginger. Helps lower the blood pressure and increase your immune function. Hey, that's perfect for you, right? And it tastes great. It smells great, too. A uh, little lime juice, some shallots. Ah, uh, shallots. And you got to have a little bit of heat, right? A little bit of capsaicin in there, right? Oh, absolutely. That helps with inflammation. Perfect. Right. And then, even though uh, that's a little you know, smelly at times, but it's the fish sauce, right? But that's nice and tasty, right, when it's blended with other things? It's good, great for vitamin A and D as well. A little salt and a little pepper. Uh, just a little bit, though, not too much. No, sir, no, sir. Just a little bit in moderation, right? Absolutely. And then some olive oil. Olive oil's good for you, right? Absolutely. Okay, and then we're going to put the lid on that. And give that a little. There you go. That's perfect. You just want to get it together almost like a, a paste. And then we're going to add it into uh, our chicken here. And normally we would like to have it go for about 15 minutes or so. But hey, this is real TV, folks. All right? So sometimes gaskets come off blenders. But thank God we have the uh, marinade for it. So we're going to add it to the uh, the chicken. Yeah. There we we're go. We're going to add it to the chicken, and normally I'd say marinate it for 15, 20 minutes minimum. Okay. But seeing as it's TV, we're going to say it's 15, 20 minutes. Okay. While you're doing that, I'm going to turn on the, the pan, start preheating the oven over here too. You give that a little stir, and then. We're going to sear off our chicken, and then you can either finish it in the pan or mm -hmm. you can finish it in the oven. Mm -mm -mm. It smells great already. See, it has a lot of that ton of flavor with that fish sauce and that lemongrass kind of penetrates through. Okay? Cooking time varies depending on thickness of chicken. I like to get the, the, the chicken that's nice and thin so that it penetrates a little bit deeper and you have a more of an even flavor through it. All right, I'll take it from there, and I'm going to sear this off. So you like, this is the kind of stuff that you eat at the house, because this is the kind of stuff that we eat at my house. We love Asian flavor, Pacific Rim uh, type foods. Absolutely, fan. it's a fantastic recipe. You have their uh, low and saturated fats, and obviously it's got great flavor. Okay, so... As this, the proteins. as this starts to, to cook, we're going to add a little bit of lime juice to it, right? A little acidity helps to tenderize. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then uh, the next beautiful thing through TV, right, is that I have some ready for you to go. Right. Mm. So you can smell that coming right out of the oven, right? Absolutely. And the, the beautiful about, thing about this is... You can use it for different applications. You can use it as the main entree with uh, sauteed spinach or uh, whatnot, or you can put it on a salad. So we're going to set it up on a little salad for you. Okay. And uh, you know what to do, the drill. You've been here before. You give it a little try. Absolutely. 
Mm. Can you taste all the flavors mm. in there kind of penetrating through that is in excellent. it? Well, Dr. Worcester and I, thank you for joining us on Savor Today, and we'll see you again next week. Savor Food and Life, sponsored by San Angelo Community Medical Center.